now we are in Fukuoka. We are about to eat a very traditional dish, very famous dish here called Bankang. Bankang is a seafood dish, but none of us know how to eat it. What do you think, Dale? How do we eat Bankang? The trick with eating a dish like this. Well, you see, it starts with this thing, which is called a chipstock. Chipstock? Chipstock, yes. Chipstock, chip yes. Chipstocks are helpful because they help you to stir. Stir. You see, you stir it like this, which is a crucial step in eating this famous ditch dish known as. Um, Ooh, look at that stir action. Now, the trick is you want to stir it enough, but not too much. You can tell by the way that the green things are floating that I've stirred it just the right Ooh, amount. Yeah, you've got a good, you've got a good few floaters in there, but yeah. But before you begin, uh, Dale's very correctly introduced how to stir bang kang. However, he's missing a crucial ingredient. Oh, yes. If you'll pan down and look at this, tilt. This is a plate tilt, right? This is a plate full of the extras that you can enjoy. Now, uh, what I've got here is a lime, lime, which Vietnamese people think is a lemon. So, uh, now, there's a lot of pips in it, so you, you'll have to remove them uh, and uh, save it for later, you know, because that's good eating. But uh, then when you've got a, a seedless uh, lemon, you, uh, you just look down at your bowl of bang kang and then just uh, laugh at it a little, <laughs> and then just, just drink the lemon. For, um, mm. delicious, delicious. for advanced students, we have a technique with the lemon. Now, this is advised only if you have some experience eating Vietnamese food. Otherwise, maybe wait a bit before you do this. So you take your spoon and you take this thing, the lemon. And now the trick is, you squeeze the lemon. And you'll notice I haven't removed any of the pips. They are still there. And you use the spoon, you see. By squeezing into the spoon, you get all the juices out. Look at that juice. And a couple of lemons, which you think might be a problem. But the trick is you, you use your uh, chip stock. And by placing the chip stock on the edge of a spoon, you gently add some lemon to your soup. These seeds you then swallow. Any final notes before we commence to eat? Uh, I'm already on my second uh, lime and I'm getting the shakes pretty bad, so uh, make it quick. Uh, uh, oh. I, just, I just ate that one. I just ate it whole. I, I did that on camera. Oh. Wasn't even a stunt lime. That was I wasn't a even lime. a stunt. That was an actual deal. Oh my yeah. gosh, spice level from one to ten. What are we Spi saying? The spiciness of the lime, off the charts. Basically, what you've got here also, also is a bit of crab meat. I want to get a real close-up of the crab meat. There. Now, that looks so edible, I just don't know what to do with myself. It looks like the best presented kind of uh, meat you could ever wish for in your whole life. And all that, you see those bubbles? Mmm. Lovely, lovely MSG. Just, just so nutritious and, and lovely. Oh, I can't wait. It just, uh, it just is everything the body needs at once, really. It's, it's really... Mm. Well, bottoms up everywhere. Hey, should we all, should we all have a, have a oh, taste? Yeah, sure so we'll have a taste. Yeah. Yeah. Like, get your spoons, get your spoons. Get your bit, yeah, yeah, get your bit of things. Mmm. Yeah, well, that's Very lovely. Good. The broth. How Very good. How's that, Jordan? The broth? The broth right, is well, delicious. Go, the, crab meat, the crab meat's uh, on its way. Mmm. Mmm. Verdict? Yeah. Ooh, he's still chewing, he's still chewing, we have to wait for no. the swallow. It's good, but um, if you can't afford to buy cocaine and you want a little extra kick, there's this uh, local, I believe this is made with um, octopus semen? Octopus semen. Octopus semen, which is red, as we all know. Not the name of the Beatles song, that's the Octopus Garden, <laughs> not oh, to be yeah. mistaken. Although oddly related. You take this uh, semen, you put it on your spoon, you, you put it in the, the trick is to put enough semen that you impregnate your food, but only enough that it goes all the way to, um, to, to uh, conception. Yes, uh, and you can find uh, this kind of uh, jar at octopusesladygarden.com. On that website. It's really disgusting and I highly recommend it. Mm. Putting it in. Good. No, it's just, mm. As you can see, John 
is enjoying his meal and staring at it intently, trying to suss out why it's got a problem with him. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> He's I'm putting trying. the curtains up. Dale is also about to enjoy his. I'm about to enjoy mine. He's actually it's very tasty. Let's it's see very tasty stuff. what happens. Oh, and it is gone. And it is gone. And there is still some water left because it was very spicy. Okay, what is your verdict, John? A short 30 seconds verdict, girl. Uh, really tasty. Reminded me of home. Could have used a bit more MSG, but smashing. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Out of five? Oh, four and a four and a flip. There, you ready? 30 second verdict. Time starts now. So the thing is, my first uh, instinct was to be unhappy. And then when I thought about it more, uh, what am I giving a verdict for? Out of five, what would you give it? Um, solid five out of five. What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, guys, on three, one, two, three. Van Hello! Hello! Hello, everybody, sit down! Bien am so I love you! One, two, three, four, five. I love you. 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 I love you.
was that? Okay, so, John. John. Hello. Jordan. That's what I was waiting for. Jordan, is that you? That's me. I'm here. I'm in front of you riding the bike. And right. also filming Hazardous. Is it not? I don't know. There is Dale. Hello, Dale. So we finished the video, we reviewed some food, some bang kang, and then we went to a local, I guess, park that you would call it, outdoors, and did some dancing with some, uh, and watched some dancing. We played with some kids that were very loud. Yeah. And, um, and then we had the world's greatest dance. Uh, it was incredible, and I hope you all enjoy it back home. Yeah, back home or wherever you are, even if you're not at home, when you do get back home, watch it again. If you're not at home and you watch it outside of home, I hope you yeah. enjoyed this yeah. video outside of home. If you're at work, uh, I know it'll be tough to enjoy it, or uh, easy to enjoy it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense, John. Crystal clear. So, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for watching this video. We'll be back very soon, hopefully, with some more antics on the way. Mm. This has been a Jordan Harkin vlog. Good night. And Godspeed.